Hi, today we will show a relatively simple workflow, which allows you to color old photos that are in a family album or just photos taken in black and white. Because I work with family photos, which usually mean a lot to the relatives. The purpose of this workflow is not to change or improve the photographic quality of the image, but only to bring it to life and add color while maintaining the details and authenticity of the original image. As usual, we will start at the beginning. We have here load image, to which we will upload the image that we want to color. And the first thing I do with this image is pass it through image resize, of course with keep proportion, because I want to keep the proportion of the original image, and here we can see the width and length obtained after resizing. The first operation we do on the image after the resize is to pass it through image filter adjustments. Here all I do is lower the saturation of the image. Many of the old images have some shades sometimes yellowish, sometimes bluish, sometimes sepia. So in this node the restoration we reduced it to zero, and this is what allows us to get an image that is true black and white. I do not make any other changes to this node. Not of sharpness, not of adding details, but just turning the image into black and white. From here this image goes to control nets. We have two models here, one line art that works with the new SDXL model, Simply our preprocessor is LineArt, and the second model we have here is called LoRa Recolor Control, which allows us to color the images. Of course I will leave all the necessary links in the description of the video that you can download and install. The positive and the negative are very general and suitable for almost all situations color photo, masterpiece, sharp, high quality, 8K, epic this is in the positive prompt, and in the negative we have black and white photo grain, blur and all the other things we don't want to get in the picture. I am working in this case with the SDXL Real Vision V40 model, latent, and all of this is connected to the sampler which of course is adapted to the model. And this is the resulting picture. Now if you pay attention, and we look at the small details, you can see, for example in the area of the clock that we slightly change the shape of the original clock. If we also look at the mouth we can see that the shape of the mouth is also changing, and in fact we have here a picture very similar to the original picture, but different, and that's something I want to avoid, because I want to stay as close to the original as possible. And for that we have this node image blending mode, which allows me to mix pixels from two different images according to certain modes, very similar to Photoshop and other editing software. So what I did here, I just took the color image, which we created a second ago, and I connected to the original image, as you can see here, after we resized it, I take the black and white image and mix it with the color we got in the painted image, after we did the recolor, and this allows me to get exactly the same details as in the original image, notice so there is no change in the shape of the clock, or the shape of the mouth, or the shape of the girl's mouth, but we only contain the color on these pixels. So we stay exactly with the original image, only with new colors that we added to it, and after we get the desired result, I send everything to upscale, because we want to change the original image as little as possible. I do an enlargement with a model, and not in latent space. I use the Essergan model and do an enlargement of 1.5 times. And you can see that in terms of details we are very close to the original image. The workflow is quite simple, you will of course find it in the description of the video, and you can play with it, and use it with your photos. So I hope you learned and we will meet in the next lessons. You are of course welcome to subscribe to the channel, ask questions, and like if you liked it. And most importantly, have fun. Bye.